Hello everybody, this is Kevin Jarrett Productions, back again to return to YouTube with another video, and today I thought I would do a video on something that a lot of people have seen on my channel in one video, but I've never really talked about it much other than, well, creating it. And that is the Big Bertha HO Candleaver. Now, <laughs> judging by the size, this thing is quite a massive beast. It's 72 to 73 inches long, end to end it's 72 inches actually, but if you add the thumpers, it's actually 73, so each is a half inch. But this thing, whew, this thing is a massive thing, and it's sitting on blocks as well. And a lot of people have asked, well somewhat, how did I construct this? Well the time lapse always shows what's happened, but a lot of people probably want a good look at it, so I thought I would do a quick video on it show everyone Big Bertha in the flesh. You can see it's quite a massive little bridge. Took 25 days to build. It was designed in actually Autodesk Inventor and not standard CAD software. And uh, everyone was thinking, when am I going to do another video on this? Well, here you go. For now, until the PA video comes out, but other than that, I'm coming back. But Big Bertha had, um, she unfortunately has had a, a bit of a grim fate. She's been stuck in a display case for the last month. Well, she got released from the case about a month ago, and she's been here ever since. But she was meant to be retrieved on the, well, in March. Well, she was only supposed to stay in the case for one month, and then we would remove her from the case and bring her here. But that never really happened in the way it did because look what happened in the world. We went through, we're still going through the coronavirus outbreak and oof, more than that, and it's already June. But Big Bertha stayed in the case for around three months, which resulted in me wanting to get it here so I could show it all to you in, in its glory. Now, a lot of people ask why is it holding up an O gauge train? Well, simply because I don't have the track. To hold anything up on it yet. And also I thought it, it looked good because Big Bertha is actually also built from the design, um, well not the design, but rather the dimensions of the original O-scale layouts, bridge designs. If you look underneath, this was all built using the measurements from the original bridges. I first measured them out and then I transferred them to paper, which resulted in this simplistic yet very informative CAD file. <laughs> but uh, other than that, it is quite interesting how it was put together. And there, it's not a perfect bridge, and it will always need room for improvement. And that's where I'm certain to continue my, my work on it. But so far, I'd like to really work on the, the center. Because it's not the best. But the center really is the critical spot because this technically is not a functioning cantilever but it resembles one because if you look at that CAD file up there there's supposed to be this lower structure well simply put I didn't have the time to do it if I had a partner in the project I could have probably done that but it was only me doing Big Bertha so go figure but I can't give it like a dimension of height other than the fact that it is well, Big Bertha is about a foot high, I think. I have to measure it. It is 10 inches high. So 10 inches in height, so it's quite a big beast. And uh, here it is in all its glory. Quite pleased with how it came out, but um, I'm certain you all probably want to see it in better detail. I know it's so big, I can't even fit it into the frame. Let me stand back a bit. Oh. Sorry about that everybody, that was not supposed to, but you can see this thing is quite massive. It doesn't even, it hangs over my desk, that's how big it is. A lot of people are going to want to see this in its glory and well here it is. This is Kevin Jarrett Productions and I will see you in the next video. See you then.